What's up bitches? Having a really unexpected morning right now. Had to go and renew my passport. We got some things to talk about, some anxiety, my diet, my smoking journey I guess. A little update, let's do a little therapy talk moment. I'm hungry. Hey bitches, a little off my health journey. I'm actually gonna try the Wendy's fish sandwich. Don't at me. Ooh, my dad would get the one from McDonald's a lot and obviously I thought it was gross like the rest of you. HRH happened, it's part of her like skinny meal or whatever, fish filet top bun off. So, I did try it for health reasons. <laughs> I lost 10 pounds. I think I gained it all back. I haven't been doing my 12 through 30. This came out to $14. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. We didn't even dine yet. This is insanity. All right, bitches, let's get real. So on the positive side of things, I found out that the two scales that I've been using are literally like five pounds off. So I don't know which one's actually right or wrong. So I need to like try the one at Publix, which I don't trust either. Ugh, trust issues. I just wanna say that I'm slowly getting back on the ball. I hit a thousand followers in a month on my TikTok. Please follow me there. Billy Carney with two Y's. Still in this very weird space where I don't feel like I'm doing the right thing. And I know that I'm continuing to do the wrong thing. The wrong things just feel so right to me. I want to be a content creator in some way, shape, or form. How am I supposed to do that if I stop creating content? <clears throat> okay, so thoughts. Okay, definitely like the McDonald's one more. The fish flavor is a little more in this. It's not bad, but... the balance of real life and content world i'm just trying to be positive I'm literally like do i become a mailman like what the fuck am i like what am i doing what do i do I have this cat sitting job like i'm not broke i can continue to just do what i'm doing but it's getting to the point where I'm getting close to 30. I'm 28 years old. I would have probably dropped dead had I known at 20 years old where I'd be now. This is not what I imagined. Like, this is not the fucking vibe. There's a part of me, too, that's really killing me that feels very boohoo, Billy. Like, grow up, welcome to the real world, get a job. But like, that's not the route that I took. 
I am not here to settle in my life. I don't want a nine to five. Never have, never will. I'm kidding. Actually, no, I'm not kidding. I don't want to be kidding. It's true. The more like I think about it, it's not outrageous. I don't know. I just, I don't give up. I grew up on follow your dreams. I've raised myself on that shit. Like I've always was inspired by like pop stars. Partly why I'm like so delusional because I looked at to all these people. I was going to talk about my major social anxiety that I was having. Actually, do I? Over the weekend, my sister came home and I met her new girlfriend. Our friends came. Friday night, we went out to the wharf in Fort Lauderdale. And let me just motherfucking tell you, I was a huge ball of anxiety. The last time I think I'd gone out like this, I had this really, I had a couple of bad experiences. I'm past what had happened in my past, but the emotion, the negativity that like I felt from that experience, I talked about it on my podcast, I don't want to talk. This isn't even the main reason, but like the guy that I was kind of weirdly delusionally interested in was getting hit on while this other guy was hitting on me. It was just the worst feeling ever. I felt and looked so dumb. Like, he was trying to dance with me. I was, like, dancing like an idiot. Like, I just couldn't even focus. And honestly, like, it scared the shit out of me. And I never want to feel that again. And I won't ever. But, God, I'm, like, starting to sweat right now. It's not just that experience. It's all of what I've been talking about. I'm not secure on myself. Like, I don't feel good about where I am at life right now. Number one, confidence is everything. And I don't have that, so I just already just feel so unattractive and unlikable. (laughs) Guys, I am just in such a bad place, but I'm... (laughs) I'm starting to see the light again. The depression I do think is gone, but I'm still sad. I'm still left sad. I can function again, I think. That's where I am with that. I don't know. I can't, I don't want this to be too long. My smoking journey has been out of control. I've got to the point where I've accepted it, but it got to the point where I couldn't even pick up because I was like going over my amount or whatever. So I think I really, there's also other reasons why, but I can't like say. I think I'm gonna try to sober up a bit. I, I can't, I can't be sober Sally for real, for real. I'd love it to just be more social than daily. It's really back and forth. I don't even wanna annoy you guys with the details because like, who the fuck knows what I'm gonna do? I sure don't, but if you wanna find out and you're new here, please subscribe if you are a Slayer. Please give this a thumbs up. Drop a comment, guys. I know YouTube is dead. I'm still here. (laughs) It's Billy, bitch.